Really, I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this little new. Uh... Hello, everybody. My name is Sir Screamalot, and welcome to another episode of Freaky Fridays. Today, we're going to be looking at the back rooms, baby. This short horror film, it's a few parts. They're quite short. So without any further ado, do let's get into it. Damn. Sound. Camera. Rolling. All right, and action. All right, cut, cut. That was good, that was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. Okay? All right, yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further, like? Uh, a little more, right. a little more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And we're there. Basically, some kind of endless reality. Hello? Hello? Hey, guys. What is this? How would you even get in a place like that? How would you film this? It's really interesting. Hello? Oh, oh, I saw something. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't just skip that by me. Hello? Something moved! Is someone there? Oh, my Nelly. What? Whoa. Uh, that's cool. And disturbing a little bit. Will there be a little slit like that with that much that much space? Read oh. What's happening to the camera? It's almost like you're playing the nun massacre and when she gets close, your screen starts like flickering and stuttering a little bit. Oh, you actually went through the hole. I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> Can anybody hear me? <laughs> Hello? Damn it. Damn it. Mm -hmm. I don't like that some of the rooms in the back rooms don't have any lights. Ah, uh, okay. Don't follow the arrows. If I've played what Vanish enough, <laughs> you never follow the arrows or the signs. What so what is that? So if things keep changing, that means that it... Whoa! I was about to say, the rooms are different every time. It's like, oh my... Okay, what are we running away from? Oh, lead Jesus. Find the dark corner and sit in it. Oh, ho, ho. oh, ho, ho, ho. changing, uh, a chasing sequence, not changing. Or changing to a change, a chasing sequence. What? I don't care if it's a hoax. You're safer anywhere! 
else but there. Hey! Safety first. Why don't I feel like this is safe? Don't move, man. Take a breath first. Is something coming down the stairs? I feel like I saw something. Please, no. It would be too bad. Too bad. No, no, no. Dude, you just came down from there. Why are you going? Don't go up. Oh. 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 Don't do that. It's gonna appear again. Where are you, bro? Where is this? Huh? Holy Jesus. Is there anything in that dumpster? <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Jesus! This isn't real. This isn't real. Looks like the sky prison from Game of Thrones. This isn't real. Where you're in a cell and the other side doesn't have a wall and it's just a drop of like a few thousand feet. Go back down, or you'll be repeating the same thing like a little bit ago. Um, oh, yeah, now you're a little bit more cautious, huh? After you're experiencing uh, that, I had only seen parts of this before, like only up to like where the chasing sequence was, and I was like, "Oh wait, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record this." <laughs> I hear it. I hear something, and I don't like it. Oh well, goddamn! That's a sign if I've ever seen one. Perfect. Way. What are you? Shh. Be quiet. It's behind you right now, isn't it? I told you! If you're standing in front of a damn! Uh, oops. That was footage from a falling camera off like a balloon or something. Really nice. Are we safe? Are we safe? This is the first video. Okay, let's get on with the next one. Okay, this is the second part. It's called Back Rooms, the third test. On July 2nd, 1988, the ASIN Research Facility tested its low proximity magnetic distortion system for the third time. It is regarding the results of the experimentation have not yet been released. 
during a press conference held in April of 1988, Island Ben Price, director of the ASIN Foundation, described the intention of these tests, stating this program is granted sufficient backing from the United States government will offer a solution to all current and future storage and residential needs and save billions of dollars on property construction and management. All right. Some yellow feel to it. All righty. Test failed. This, this is the next part. It's called First Contact. An FBI warning. Jesus. Hey, sink. Test number six. Yeah. Modification exceeding 90, 90,000 something. All right. A lot of numbers and no understanding of what the heck I'm seeing. Nineteen eighty nine. So that's we've been experimenting with stuff like this ever since back then, huh? Perhaps. Wasn't even born back then, Jesus. Hey, how about we close that portal? Uh, not good. Guys. Guys, there's an off button. It's a Pac-Man map. Okay, portal to the back rooms is open. We have first contact. Scariest part would be if you go in, you probably can't go out. Okay, the next part is called back rooms is missing persons. Are you the guy that went in? You look like the guy from the beginning of the video where he was shooting with the footage and got teleported in the back rooms. Margaret Watson. Hmm. Ellis White. So these are all the people that went missing and ended up in the rooms. Imagine that's actually the only exit from the back rooms. From the actual. Alrighty. People in hazmat suits. What are we doing here? Do they have that little rope thing kind of connected to the outside? Oh, uh, isn't that where a little fella fell from? Oh, he was being chased. Probably not. Looks similar, though. Oh, hold it. 
Oh, uh, well, hmm. That don't look good. Don't Nothing does in the back rooms. The back rooms? The back rooms. The back room. Oh, what the heck is that? Is it one of them? You don't look real. You look like a mannequin a little bit. It's organic. And the blood looks like not blood. It looks black, kind of brownish. Uh, wait, it said something in the blue. If anybody blame him, is what it says. All right. Okay, this is the back room's informational video. For internal use only. Oh, so that's employee stuff. Welcome to the Project KV-31 Research and Development Team. In this short informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV-31, as mm. well as receive an overview of future development plans. What is Project KV-31? Project KV-31 pertains to the study and development of the Async Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. For the sake of convenience, you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following titles. The Machine. The Door. Yeah. The Back Rooms. The, the complex, complex. Hallways. Unauthorized usage of these terms outside of the async research facility is strictly prohibited. The threshold without guided supervision. All right. Regulation. Never enter the complex alone. All expeditions are to be comprised of no fewer than three individuals. Okay. So that's why there were only three of them when they went in with the missing persons and they found the... Why top three though? Why? Didn't you get like a whole squad in there? There we go. The one recording and the other two. Oh, you guys don't like it here, do you? Yep. Guys, do you hear this? Guys? Can you turn around and see if they're there? What if they're missing already? You just came in. Hey guys, do you hear this? Hey! <laughs> guys. Weren't you tied together? Um. Guys? George, open. Oh, go back. <laughs> go back. <laughs> oh man, open. this sucks. <sighs> That's a dark hallway. If I haven't seen one, if I have, would be this one. I'm feeling braver by the second. And now actually there's a game out, which I'm really willing to try and play it through for you guys.
go to those is that bits of the hazmat suit if so you need to leave that looked like a little like a stage of some sort like some kind of a podium there mm. no 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 oh uh, what huh what Hold on, did I just see something again or is it me? Yeah, yeah, or is that the shadow? I think god damn it, is it the shadow? Oh yeah, you if that's there you need to grab it. Grab it. Trust me, there's there's a point in all of it. There's no coincidences. Grab it. Oh, what? Uh... Okay, it's a house. So, what do we... Oh, you just leave? Really? Come on. Could've gone in. Maybe someone else was living in there. You just... Bro, you know. It all looks the same. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Imagine the monster is actually the only exit for the back rooms. And you keep running and running and running and hiding from the actual exit, right? It gets you and it just you're teleported out. That would be a really cool mechanic for a game. Anyway. What? The management room for the back rooms? Hello? Uh, red rooms. Standard threshold. This is the back room's autopsy report. <laughs> Meaning somebody died and then Subject they had to um, find his body. 18 and 21 years old. It's probably estimate that the time of death was around five days ago. It's probably that person that they found severe tissue damage in one of the previous videos. It's hard to say for sure. Jesus, what? The cause of death was likely malnutrition. I was able to recover most of the digestive tract. Mm. So yes, things start to deviate from what we would consider to be natural. The decomposition process appears to have been stunted somehow. It, it's like it's like portions of the body stopped decaying and, and were sustained. 
Other areas, however, were completely overtaken by culture. So uh, I took uh, a couple samples of some material here. <clears throat> First, I, I thought it was a, an aggregated collection of pseudomenus fluorescence, but uh, it seems to be closer to a mutated strain of simple A. bacillus, which it should be completely benign, but, well, really, I, I, I don't know what to make of so this. So wait, the... the the guys in the hazmat suit that found... Mr. Beck, may I ask uh, where this subject came from? The body were able to actually come back. So they're not really, like, analyzing him in the back room. So there actually is a way out. It's not that you're completely, like, stranded in there. Oh, there we go. This is the last part. It's uh, motion detected. The last part that's come out. There's probably more that we don't know about yet. What? You're constructing things in there? Are you the the ones? What? Are you building like making like a little like uh, management room on the other side of the portal or something? I guess you have cameras set up as well. Seven modified video cameras are optionally. Optimally positioned along lateral division A. Hold on. Each camera has been modified to send out an alert and begin recording when motion or substantial noise is detected. Okay. That's good. Okay, camera one, and then the two, and the five, and there's probably more cameras too. Yeah, unless those cameras disappear. What kind of range do they have anyways, like, bruh? Uh-huh, I see, I see, yeah. So they only record when there's motion. Or they sound the alarm when there's motion. And probably record when there's motion. Following is a compilation of all detected motion alerts receiving during received during the night. Three researchers past central. Ah, okay, so it's okay. Returning researchers. Past Central Division D. Wait. Is that three of them? It looked like two. Or maybe it's just me. Supervisor passes camera six. Threshold barrier closed. But that's for noise, noise detected. Okay. One oh six AM TBD.
a little later than that, like an hour. Microphone failure. Is there a reason? When you're using all this high tech stuff. You're not gonna say what? Just motion detected, really? Oh. Oh. What is that? What is that? Say, whoa. It's on the ceiling, too. Image upscaled plus enhanced. Looks like feet up in the air. What? Okay, that was, that was all of them up until now. There's probably going to be more footage coming out. So I'm going to subscribe to this person right now so that I'm up to date. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a really creepy concept. It's basically teleported into this internal dimension that actually has an exit. And it's not really so eternal, probably. It's like a Minecraft map. It's probably randomly generated. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.